Self-care is enjoying a big old bowl of pasta. Is this a little too close for you? Are you uncomfortable? Girl, you trying to shave your armpit. We not getting into the deep stuff. Let's talk about period. With this face mask, I look like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Lately, I've been starting off my morning by going to the gym. I go with my friend Aisha, and I feel like going to the gym has really been helping improve my mental health, especially when it comes to cardio. I don't know why, it just makes me feel so much better for the rest of the day. So I worked on the elliptical, then I jump rope for a little bit. the gym and I'm smelling pretty rank. Like let's just not talk about that. But I thought today we could just do like a little mental health day. I know you probably need it. I know I need it. I've been stressing out so much. I'm on my cycle again. Very inconsistent. We can talk about that a little bit later if you want. I mean when I have my cycle you're gonna know because that's just how we are on this channel. I love how we hang out so much. Some of you guys are like oh our cycles are literally linked up. That's so cool. But then again I have PCOS. Mine's so inconsistent. Anyways, back on topic. I thought we'd have like a little mental health day, get our stuff together, maybe do a little face mask, maybe have a little mental health chat. But um, I'm about to get in the shower because like I said, I'm smelling pretty bad. And before you watch this video, whether you're a mom and you're at home with your kids and it's just hectic and you find it really hard to make time for yourself, whether you're a student and you have so much studying to do, you have so much work that you've just been procrastinating or you've been working on and your eyeballs are about to fall out or maybe you're just a person alone in your room watching my video and you're having a bad time with your mental health. I've been there. I've done that. You don't always have to be going through something to have bad mental health. But no matter who you are, maybe you just got done working a 12 hour shift because I've been there too and it's just hard to make time for yourself. Watch this video. Maybe pause it. Go get you a little face mask you can put on. I don't care if it's from the Dollar Tree. Well actually as long as it's going to be safe for your face, put it on. Maybe if you don't have a face mask, grab a little bowl of grapes, some watermelon, maybe get ready to do your hair, maybe get in the shower, take a little relaxing bath, just light a candle, do something for you. Maybe put you on some little press on nails from the Dollar Tree. Whatever is your form of self care, do it while watching this video and we're just gonna vibe out together. Cause mental health matters. But I'm about to get ready to take a shower. I actually washed my hair yesterday. I did these, I don't know if you could see them, but I did these, Um, I forget what they're called, like boho braids. They're not very styled right now, but I think they're so cute. I love them. When I did these, I could not see my parts in the back. So shh, we not gonna talk about it. We're not. Anyways, let's get in the shower. <laughs> If I'm being real with y'all, all my towels are literally sitting in this room on my chair waiting to be folded. The clean ones, that is. The very few clean ones. Like, bruh, I literally cleaned this room the other day. I promise you, all of these clothes in here, they're clean. So first, I'm gonna shave. It's kind of been a minute. Like, look at these armpits. This is pretty bad. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, I like to shave my armpits because I go to the gym and typically when they're hairy, I've noticed that they hold more odor. Like right now, they smell. I know some people really don't like sweat all that much because I sweat in certain places. Like my back will literally be full of sweat at the gym and my face will look like I didn't even work out. I mean, it's a little red, but it's not how you would think it would look. I wish it was more sudsy. Let me add some water. And I kind of talked about it before, but I have HS. So if you see like little breakouts, those are not like ingrown hairs. Those are from my HS. I like how we're just doing like a guided self care. Okay, there we go. There's some sun. There we go. I need some music, but I'm not trying to get in trouble with the YouTubes. I'm not trying to get copyrighted. So I'm gonna just make my own tunes. I'ma just get excited. That rhymed. Y'all heard that? Y'all heard that? I know y'all did. <sighs> yeah, Sierra, please never do that again. Oh, she's smooth. See, that's my HS down there. And unfortunately, there is no cure for HS. I did have a doctor that gave me like a bunch of medication, like this acne medication. And then she's like, by the way, if you ever plan to have a kid, you have to get off of this medication. I don't know all the specifics. Why is this 
this shaving cream like not working? Do I have it twisted to the offside or something? Anyway, she said, if you want to have kids and you're taking this medication, your kid will have birth defects. So you have to come off of this medication if you ever decide to have a kid. And like on the off chance that I do end up pregnant, which you know, we're not planning for that. But if I do, I don't want to have to go through all of that for this medication. I don't know, that kind of scared me. Not that I'm planning for kids, but just in case. And another thing, she gave me like four medications. And that's just a lot. I cannot keep track of all of that and be taking four pills every single morning. Well, actually it was like four different medications that she gave me, but then one of them I'm supposed to take three of them because apparently they didn't have my dosage for my weight because you know, I'm fat. And she's like, yeah, they didn't have that dosage. So just take three of these, take one of these, take this, do this in your bath. And like, I need to get, I think it's like, don't quote me on this. It's like Clorox or something. And they said, put a little bit in your bath and it's supposed to help with your HS flare ups. So I really do need to to do that I just haven't got around to it because I suck at making time for myself to do the things that I need to do <sighs> but that's what we're doing today I mean I should have bought the Clorox or whatever that I'm supposed to take a bath with but I did it but there's always tomorrow hopefully even though tomorrow's never promised but we're not getting into that depressing stuff right now girl you trying to shave your armpits we not getting into the deep stuff <laughs> I think I'm gonna finish the rest of my bath in private cuz I don't think y'all need to see my bits and pieces but I am gonna use this new native body wash cuz I'm so excited to use it it's coconut and vanilla and it smells amazing like it just smells so natural it smells so good so fun fact I actually in my family we play dirty Santa so like we bring a gift and then we draw little numbers and then we choose a gift I brought this some hand soap from Bath and Body Works and a candle set and I really wanted it so whenever it was my turn because I got like number six which is a good number because there was like 10 people picking if you have a low number you have to go first and your gift can get stolen but if you're higher number you have more kind of like a pick and then less chances of your gift getting stolen well I brought this and I was like this is what I want so I chose that <laughs> and no one stole it for me I got this and I have already used the candles they smell really good they were Dr. Till's candles I actually use the hand soap in here too it's um bath and body works and i got kind of like gender neutral stuff because i feel like native body wash is very gender neutral i've never used the body wash i've only ever used the uh skincare but i'm so excited i love the native stuff so native if you see this please work with me it's good for my mental health i feel genuinely like when you smell good you feel good and it really does help with your mental health when you smell good so i'm not gonna wash my hair because obviously i washed it yesterday and i braided it so i'm just gonna gonna do my body. This stuff smells so freaking good. Oops. I dropped the soap, but I don't know if I should pick it up. Y'all, if you're a lazy baddie like me and you're like, I don't know if I wanna get dressed as soon as I get out of the shower. Be like me and get a bath robe. I mean, I don't know if this robe is specifically meant for bath, but that's what I use it for. This one is from Adore Me and it's the perfect way to just be like a bougie little bitch in your little bathrobe, but really it's just cause you're lazy and don't feel like putting on clothes yet. I was a little scared to put on the bathrobe considering I'm on code red and this is a white bathrobe, but you know, I put a little something down there to stop it. It wouldn't be a mental health day without some skincare. If you guys know me, you know. I talk actively about how I don't know what the f I'm doing when I do skincare. Still working it out. Um, normally I, I use the set from The Ordinary, but right now I'm just feeling basic. I'm gonna do a um, face mask later. So I'm just gonna go in with Native again. I promise this isn't sponsored, but I wish it was. But I'm going in with the Native Brightening Facial Cleanser. I'm gonna add a little water to this so we can get that perfect lather. I love the smell of citrus and this smells amazing. Look at that little mustache I accidentally did. Love that. I just look so cozy right now. Oh, it's in my eyeballs. I'm getting them angles, y'all. Oh gosh, my sink is stopped up. My life is very chaotic. My sink is literally stopped up and there's soap in my eyeballs. As long as it doesn't like leak in the floor, I think we're okay. My sink has been taking like ages to go down and I don't know why. Oh, I can see again. That's a plus. I could have just pretended, you know, that my sink didn't get stopped up. So I mean, at least I told y'all the truth and I don't do my hair over there. So it shouldn't be like stopped up with hair because that used to be a problem of mine. So I really don't know what's going on with my sink. I'll just get Kevin to fix it when he gets home. That's usually how most things go. But I think all the soap is off my face, hopefully. So I worked for this brand 
And when they sent me the products to do a video on, they actually added in so much extra stuff and I haven't even got around to using it. But now is the perfect time, especially because I'm on my period. They have like menstrual packets, some like feminine wash. But the main thing that I'm about to use now is this plump and smooth facial sheet mask. And it says to clean your face, which we just did, leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes. I did not mean to open it like that. Okay, let's see how she looks. Ooh, she's juicy. She's juicy. You gotta unfold her. Oh, I'm so scared I'm gonna rip it. It's made of like paper. I haven't broken it, so maybe it's a little bit stronger than I think. Does it matter what side? They both look pretty juicy. This side looks juicier, I think, so I'm gonna go with this side. Oh, it's cold. Purr. Now I'm just gonna pat it down and make sure everything is good. Am I cute? I'm actually scared to like react or like make a face because I feel like it's gonna slide off. Also, Kevin bought me from my Amazon wish list this set of um, little twin star stuff. And there were these lip masks in there. Is there even any instructions? There's not. Oh, did y'all just hear that? Ooh, it cracked. My hands are so slippery from the face mask. I told you she was juicy. Please don't slide off face mask. That did not sound good. Stay. No instructions. I mean, I assume I just put it on and then let it sit. Is this a little too close for you? Are you uncomfortable? Oh, I'm pretty sure my breath just got on the lens. <laughs> At least I brushed my teeth this morning. I mean, honestly, it just feels like chapstick. It says it's a lip mask though. I would have thought that it had like some sugar scrub type of stuff in it or something. Well, what do we do now? Maybe you should get a little closer. Okay, little change of locations. I love my living room. I feel like the pillows are super cute in here. I love this little blanket. I like my little tapestry. I have some lights in here. It's just a vibe. And if this freaking face mask keeps falling off, I'm gonna... <laughs> Anyways, back to the vibes. Lately, I've just been feeling bleh. I don't know what better way to describe it. Sometimes I'm super happy. I'm over the moon. Like, I'm literally doing my dream job right now. Sometimes it's so hard to just sit down get in front of a camera and talk especially being vulnerable and talking about things in your life that you go through and I know I'm talking to you guys on the other end and this feels unreal but sometimes it's just so hard to get out of the mind space of just being comfortable laying in bed and not wanting to do anything and to snap out of it and be like you gotta work today you gotta film you gotta do this and really that goes for anything whether it's doing your laundry whether it's cleaning up doing a project anything it's just hard to get out of bed sometimes snap into it and be like hey you gotta do this and then everyone's telling me like wow you're doing so good at life you have a house you're married you're doing this you're doing that but then why do I still sometimes just feel like a failure I feel like there's so much more that I need to do in life and sometimes it's hard to just be like hey you're you actually are doing very good and it's hard to be nice to yourself sometimes when you're just always thinking about the next thing like this person's doing so much better than you and then sometimes I also just feel guilty for feeling bad because I'm like you should be happy look at everything you have in life you should be grateful which I am very grateful but at the same time I'm always beating myself up like you could be doing more you're lazy you're a failure and that's just the voice in the back of your head always telling you that and then what is it imposter syndrome I have that all the time because I'm like what are you even doing I have imposter syndrome about anything I do posting videos social media you're literally been shy your whole life you've been a nobody your whole life so what are you doing you're not allowed to do this this isn't you you're not pretty enough you're not good enough but I need to snap out of that headspace because I am worthy I don't know I could just be blabbering and owning a home is great but sometimes I just the home that I bought is very old things go bad all the time none of my stuff is modern really the people that I bought the house from they just kind of flipped it and I found like mold I found so many things wrong with this house and I love the house but at the same time the setup just makes me so mad sometimes it's an old house as I mentioned there's hardly any plugs to plug in things my kitchen is so small and I make so many videos in my kitchen and I just want to like remodel my kitchen but at the same time I'm just like girl you cannot afford that sometimes I just feel stuck 
living the same old life, doing the same old things. It's just so hard to keep up with the upkeep of cleaning. I feel like the house is always cluttered. I need to be a minimalist. Maybe I should make a video becoming a minimalist. No, I feel like that's not me. Back to the that's not me scenario because that really is not me. I love decorative things. When I moved in, I actually planned to have like full white walls, no decor. Obviously that did not work out. I feel like with this face mask, I look like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Anyways, when I first moved in, I was like, ooh, I love the aesthetic of the white walls, blank walls. I like the clean furniture, the da 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 da. No, that is not me. I have to have color, personality. Another thing that I still do really want is to get into like plants. I'm not good with plants. They always die. That was my little rant for the day, but I'm about to take off this face mask. Does my skin look juicy and rejuvenated? Is it giving moisture? It better be. Every start you thought was wonderful falls from a space to the ground. Self-care is enjoying a big old bowl of pasta with no worries in the world. Mmm, that is so good. Also, I love that this pasta is protein pasta, so I'm also getting in my extra protein. It's a very nutritious bowl of pasta. I bolt her up with some vegetables. You know I gotta top her off with sour cream. While I'm going on this no fast food journey for a month, I love how everyone's just like, so you're eating pasta, or you're having pizza, or you're having this, or you're having that. I never said I'm gonna cut out the things that I love, and I never will. Life is always about balance. Find healthier alternatives to the things you love. Even if there's not a healthier alternative, you still deserve to enjoy the things you love because you're not going to get healthy by just not indulging in things you love, especially when you have an eating disorder or you struggle with binge eating. The longer you deprive yourself of those things, the more and more you're going to want it and the more you're not going to be able to put up with just restricting yourself. Anyways, if you know me, then you know I gotta watch something when I eat. So I'm about to watch Love Island. I'm gonna finish this pasta and just see what else this day has in store for us. Cause we're just chilling. No responsibilities. We're just vibing. It's Love Island time. If y'all see me looking down, I'm looking at Love Island. This show is so corny, but for some reason I actually like it. As you can tell, I have the LED lights set to red because you know what's about to go down. Get comfortable and let's talk about periods. I genuinely didn't even plan to like have a conversation like this. I mean, I know I said earlier, period is probably gonna come back up. We're probably gonna talk more about it later, but this situation has unfortunately forced me to talk about it. As you can tell, I have on a change of clothes. I have on my comfy PJs. And yes, do I love this PJ set? I do, but unfortunately that's that's not why I changed clothes. I was on the couch and I was editing and I got up and I felt my shorts were wet. Well, I knew I was on my period. Also, if you don't wanna hear about periods, please just skip this part. You do not have to listen. I'm not forcing you to listen about my period, but I know some people just like to feel seen. Some people go through the same situation. But anyways, I had in a tampon, but I don't know what it is lately. This is actually the second time. This happened last night, overnight, bled on my bed, but I stood up and my shorts were wet. So of course I went to go check my underwear ruined, my shorts ruined. I mean, obviously I could just wash it out. That's what I'm gonna do. But um, yeah, 
I bled through. My flow has been super crazy lately. I don't know if it has to do with like the medication the doctor gave me to start my period to begin with, but this was two months ago. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's my PCOS. My period came a whole week early this time, but yeah, it's kind of uncontrollable right now and I'm kind of suffering. I took medication for my cramps this morning because they were already crazy. So luckily I'm not dealing with that. As people with periods, life kind of sucks sometimes. I was without it for five months. I've talked about it in probably like my last four videos. And now that it's back, um, I don't know if I really missed it. I mean, I did miss it because just knowing your periods here, your regular, like I did miss it. But at the same time, I did not miss bleeding through everything. And I would say it's kind of embarrassing, but there's nothing we should be embarrassed about. A period is natural. I'm tired of people making us feel bad about something that is natural. But yeah, I had a big stain on the couch. I started wiping it up, I'm cleaning it up. It's sweat right now because you know, I had a washcloth and everything like that, scrubbing it. And that's my favorite spot to sit on the couch. So I'm actually kind of upset. But anyways, if you guys are going through anything today, if you're just having a bad day, if everything just seems to be going wrong, just know you're not alone. You can get through this. I'm here for you. I am your sister. I think I'm just gonna lay low for the rest of the day, kind of chill out, hang out on the couch, not in my favorite spot. That spot kind of is occupied by a blood stain. But I think this is just where I'm gonna leave off the video. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. You're amazing. If you're not already, please subscribe down below because we're so close to a million. When I start YouTube my YouTube channel sucked nobody watched my videos and I was like oh I'll never be a youtuber and now I'm kind of a youtuber and the fact that like in maybe a year of doing YouTube I could potentially be hitting a million subscribers is wild to me like I can't I still thank you so much comment down below use the comment section as a diary let me know everything bad going on I don't care complain as much as you want I promise it's okay I will try to read it I will try to respond or heart your comment just leave a little rant if you'd like or tell me everything good about your day we can make it positive we can make it negative if you're in the mood to complain lay it on me it's okay because i complained this whole video anyways thanks so much for watching i love you guys take care of your mental health bye